Hello, welcome to my channel, Black to the Film, and thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for joining me. <laughs> so today I'm here because, as everyone knows around the world, a black man, a human, a human named George Floyd was murdered coldly by police. And since then, the world has answered to that. You know, too many times I wanted to come on this channel and talk about a film. Tell you guys a good film to watch. What I thought about it. Maybe debate about it. Talk about it introspectively. And how it affects black people in the society. But every time I tried to do that, I've always felt like I was purposely ignoring a systemic problem, mainly police waging war against black men. Because that's what this is. This is a war against black men. It's not even a war that black men want. We're very peaceful. We're like just trying to get through to, we're just trying to get through society. We're trying to make our way in a society that obviously doesn't want us to engage in it outside of sports, uh, entertainment, and music, you know? <clears throat> George Floyd could have been any one of us. Could have been any one of us. Could have been you, could have been me, you know? I've personally seen police murder a black man when I was a teenager, when I was 14. And that day has haunted me ever since. The man's bellowing screams for help and for them to stop. And I noticed the same thing with George Floyd all these years later is nobody stepped in to help him. Nobody. It's like you would rather stand there and watch a man die. And you know it's wrong the way he was dying, right? He wasn't he wasn't resisting arrest. He was restrained and being basically choked out. You would rather sit there out of a fear that I don't know what than do something about it, you know? Now I like many people had the wool pulled over my eyes when I was younger. Because I was like, yeah, they're going to do something to these police officers that murdered that man. We don't got to do anything. You know, justice, right? And nothing happened. So, I already know the truth, you know. And, I mean, come on, the last 20 years, you got to know the truth at this point. The evidence is a, is a landslide. It's a preponderance of evidence in one direction. That there's a war against black men and the police are the primary weapon. I just don't want us to forget George Floyd no matter what happens. We must not forget this man. Too many times we have these marches and, and these talks and these movements. And then after that it's over with, you know. It's just over. It's done. And then the next black man gets murdered by police, and we're right back to it, and we're right back to where we started. And this time around, I don't see that happening. <laughs> and this time around, I think if they, if I, this time around, I think if the police, well, no, I can't say that because they already just murdered two more black men since this is all started, and you won't hear about those, right? Because they don't want to throw more wood on the fire. But yeah, they already murdered two more black men. Since this has started. So. I do think that it's important. That you know as black men. We understand. Our place in this society. Right. Our place in this society. Is obviously to be murdered. For everyone else's amusement. We're supposed to be murdered. That's our place in society. And. Maybe we can change it. But I know one thing, we can no longer not act. We can no longer videotape and film and watch them kill a man in front of us. You know. 
I regret a lot of things that day that I saw them kill a man in front of me. That I saw the police kill a man in front of me. I regret not trying to get down there and rush the crowd or something. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, there's nothing worse than living with the inaction. Living with the inaction. is nothing worse than that. And I would say right now, everyone's fed up. So I'm very, very proud of what I'm seeing on TV with the protests. I'm even more proud of that, that we were able to show them that these are not violent protests. These are not uh, protests about looting. These are peaceful protests. Peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. Because for some reason, property became a big issue. So I'm very, very proud that we were able to really you know, shut that down. Now they have nowhere to go. Now they have to deal with the issues. And they have to change. Because only they can do it. I don't have the power to change everything. I can act. And that's a lot of power. With a bunch of people behind me. We can all act. But the change comes from the powers that be. So let's see what happens. You know. But yeah. I wanted to dedicate this to the memory of George Floyd. I wanted to make sure that there was a title. With his name on it. On YouTube. So for the rest of generations to come. When they type in George Floyd. Maybe this video will come up. Maybe a bunch of videos will come up. I don't know. But I just don't want him to be forgotten. Because George Floyd could have been any one of us. Could have been me. Could have been you. Could have been anybody. Does it matter. Age. Income level. If you were a black man. From the womb. To 100 years. You could have been George Floyd. So, they just ruined, you know, the discussion of films for me. And that's okay. Because this is more important. This is what I wanted to talk about. I wanted, I was not hoping that something like this happened. But I wanted to be able to talk about something like this happening with it occurring. Because when you talk about it, nobody cares, you know. They don't want to listen to us. Yet the, they don't want to listen to black men. And that's the problem. We are the ones having war waged on us, and we're telling you we need to be shielded, we need to be helped, we need to be respected, and nobody cared until now. And it's sad that it took all of this, the way this man had to die for people to understand what we've been telling you for the last 400 years. So that's all I got for now. Um, I hope you come back. I'm going to do more videos. I got a bunch of video topics I'm going to talk about and we're going to see where this goes you know thank you for watching my video and I hope you stay safe have a good day